afternoon. It's a very, very dull day. Um, I'm in the bedroom because of the big windows in here. But it's still not a lot of light. I've put the overhead light on so anyone walking past will see me doing this, but never mind. Um, I've just been to Tesco's. I've got little Bertie here. Just grabbed him out of his bed. Uh, I bought this little outfit for him. It's got like a Winnie the Pooh on. It says, Honey Heaven. Yeah, Winnie the Pooh. And it's, the, oh goodness me, there we go. He's got it on his little onesie. Time spent together is a time well spent. Which is really true, isn't it? And then the, it's got all these little, can you see, little characters. The Winnie the Pooh and um, Piglet. In the tree. It's like the old, it's like from the book really. Like the old Winnie the Pooh, if you know what I mean. So I thought I'd put him into that. Um, oh, yeah, i got some news for you. This weekend, I had another granddaughter born, which was very nice. Early hours of Sunday morning, she entered this world. Um... Exactly on her due date, and she's seven pound seven four seven four ounce seven pound four ounces. Born at twenty past three Sunday morning, and her name is Adelaide. Um, bit of an unusual name, I think. Maybe not. Ben, don't do that. Rubbing his mouth all over the carpet. He's just had his dinner. Um. Yeah, but she's really sweet. It's it's funny because I went and gave her a cuddle yesterday, and seven out seven pound four ounces is nowhere near as heavy as a seven seven pound four ounce reborn. Because I, you know, we've had this conversation before about dead weight being heavier because they always reckon they're two pound heavier than. obviously a, a baby so yeah it's really funny because she's no bigger she's a little bit longer longer than this but as i say she's seven pound four and why <laughs> she's so skinny <laughs> well she feels skinny i suppose but she is really but uh, yeah yeah so i've now got seven grandchildren um and they are, what have I got? Four boys and three girls. So, the boys outnumber the girls. Yeah, pop it. No. He was wearing a Winnie the Pooh outfit, actually. Um, that I found that fitted him the other day. It was the Winnie the Pooh um. You know, I've got backache all around my neck and my back. And I found this one. It's a little onesie. And it's... My mum and daddy love me. And it says underneath, and I love them. Which I thought was quite sweet. I had to dig deep in my stash because I only had new newborn things. And he's too tiny for newborns. I've just seen Suzanne's uploaded a video. Well, I've went up my iPad on. So I'll go and have a look at that when I'm having some lunch. It's nice to see she's back with us. Um, I don't know about anybody else, but I miss people if they're not around. I know I don't get time very often to catch up. But I do like uh, to see the regulars if I can. Come on, puppet. Boo. I had my granddaughter yesterday, my little granddaughter. She's five. I had her yesterday because she had an inset day at school. Um, so her school was closed. And uh, so she came to me and she's talking about her little sister, about the new baby. And she said, it was funny, Nanny. She said, she doesn't eat baby food yet. 
She doesn't even have a bottle, she said. She only drinks milk from mummy's boobies. <laughs> I don't think she can wait for her to have a bottle so she can help feed. Um, she's a funny thing, she says. She's so comical. They keep you entertained for ages, don't they, these children? Not putting socks, he's been having booties on underneath of his uh, sleeper, but he's not going to have booties today, I think. I think you won't need them. Um, where am I going? There we are. And then he put his leg down an armhole. Went to Slimming World last night and lost a pound and a half, which I was quite pleased about. Because the last couple of weeks I've put on the odd half and the odd one and, you know, so I'm back to my two stone that I lost now. But I just can't get the other side of that two stone. So hopefully this week, let it get, <coughs> excuse me, it get me past that mark and I'll be on the other side of it, which will be nice. Um, oh, my back's killing me. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, I've got to stretch. This is a bit low. I think I'm better off in the other room when I'm kneeling on the floor, really, with him, or with any of them. Um, it seems to be a bit better for me than bending over. This one's only for, as I say, tiny baby, but this one will just fit or might be a little bit on the tight side. Like a frog with your knees like that. Or somebody asks what body he's got on. And, I, you know, I can't think at the moment. So next time when I strip him off, I will have a look and let them know. Because they said their baby's got a front loading, um, yeah, front loader. But he's not, I don't think. I think he's just an ordinary. Do you want your bib on? The bibs always look so big, don't they? Let's have a look. Labels. Really big bibs. That's quite nice, actually. She's got towel on the other side, so it's quite... Um, Look at that big bib. There we are. It's such a puppet. I'm not checking what you can see, but there we are. He's a really sweetie. Aren't you? There you are. Right, I should cut the labels off, really, but I'm not going to leave them there. And there we are, this little birdie. As I say, I just got home, so I've got loads to do today. Um... But I thought I would just pop on tell you about my new granddaughter. Um, I'm not allowed to put f photos on Facebook. Her dad doesn't like photos of the children on Facebook, which is fair enough. But oh, yeah, I was dying to show a photo and I can't. I did message a couple of friends with it, but yeah. Okay, I'm going to go. Um, and I hope you got this. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.